Hey everybody, it's your crazy fangirl Shime. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are going to be watching the second episode of season seven of Star Wars: The Clone Wars, and oh, so excited! The first episode again was good. I went back and watched it several times after, obviously, watching it for my reaction, and I'm super excited to see what else happens in this episode because, of course, Echo is alive. Um, and yeah, there's so much like going on there, especially because I did go back and kind of like refresh myself I did go watch it like most of the series like I'm up to se season three I think it was and yeah we've covered I'm pretty sure we already covered Echo's death before season three I don't know but I went back and like checked like where like it happened where he died and yeah I mean yeah no one was really certain if he did die so it was interesting to kind of see like what did happen and now it's interesting because, you know, he's apparently alive. So, yeah, let's just jump straight into this because I'm very excited to watch this and I want to see what else happens. <laughs> but before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more video games, TV shows and movie trailers. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. What thing? <laughs> what thing? <laughs> oh, does he talk to her? Oh. Milo? Hello, sweetheart. You want to stay here or go outside? I know you're scared of the pressure cooker. <laughs> Milo's scared of the pressure cooker because of the noise it makes. So he kind of comes to me for comfort. Give me a second. Okay, there you go. Oh no! <laughs> oh great! <laughs> it's Rex. I'm worried he's letting his personal feelings drive him too much on this mission. I wonder where he learned that. Mm-hmm. Anakin. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, nothing, sir. I'm just waiting for the general. The general. Hmm. You'll have to do better than that, Captain. You really Rex. <laughs> Yes, Padme. I love you, Annie. I love you too. Aww. And what is Anakin doing in there? Ah, uh, well, the pain. Checking my gear. I hope you at least told Padme I said hello. Obi Wan always saving his butt. Nah, but Obi-Wan's been good. Like, he, even in the earlier seasons of Clone Wars, he knew what was going on. So, he, he's a good friend. <laughs> Makes me sad what to think about the rest of the scene. <gasps> oh, Anakin saving Rex, the friendship. <gasps> no! Oh, yeah, this guy. Ah, great. Feelings get in the way. Oh. Because you left him for dead in the Citadel. I had no choice. You hear me? Oh, I don't blame you. I would have left him for dead too. <gasps> Besides, he's just another rig. <laughs> Rex. Oh, that sharpshooter guy annoys me. I've watched so many of my brothers fall during this war, and I try not to hang on to any one. Changed when I heard that separatist transmission. It was no algorithm. That was Echo's voice. I know it. I hope you're right. But if for some reason you're wrong, then I'll deal with it. <sighs> so sad. I also. Wait. I also went back and watched. Um. The movies, um, the prequels, and <laughs> it breaks my heart every time I watch them because, you know, of a certain scene called Order 66, and a certain clone that we all love was, like, the first person who got that order, and, oh, uh, my heart broke re-watching that because it's been so long since I've actually watched the prequels, um, so yeah, like, knowing, like, 
what's going to happen. Like, obviously, it's obviously happened because the movies are out. But, you know, when you're watching Clone Wars and then you're thinking of, like, what's going to happen in the movies. Oh. Mm, it's so sad. <laughs> Yeah, maybe don't ask this team for stealth. Oh, thank God they made the lightsabers normal again. Because in Rebels, when they made them like super thin, I was just like, no, 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 no. Oh, I kind of wish Anakin went with him too. Wait, what? But that's so d dark as well. The fact that they were like using his like mind and going through it and finding out like all the tactics and stuff. Oh, because I was hoping so much that Echo wouldn't betray them. So, oh god. My heart. But that also makes me wonder like what's going to happen next. Especially with the fact that, you know, they're taking Echo home. So is it like, will they still be able to connect to Echo's mind? Because now that they've already had a connection with him, will they be able to do it again? Um, kind of like... Uh, not kind of like, but there was another part in the series where... Oh, well, it's kind of like what happened in season six, where, you know, the chip accidentally went off, and and then it was fives. So it accidentally, like, activated and they killed a Jedi. So um, that's making me think, like, not in the sense that that will happen again, but in the sense that, you know, someone will try to tamper with... Um, Echo's mind to get more information. Will it happen again with him? Oh... My heart, I want more. Oh my God, it's so good, and oh, I love this show so much. So, oh, but dude, that was so dark, and like, I'm so in a way, I'm so glad that they're kind of like delving into the darker parts of what Star Wars could be because there is so much stuff that they could go into more detail with. Especially because you know this is a kids TV show, so you know it's understandable that they're keeping things at like a, a relative like good like level for obviously kids to watch so oh but still like I want them to delve more into it like that would be really interesting and they kind of are because that's so dark like oh that's oh, that scene where he kind of just hangs out of the thing oh that broke my heart oh that's so sad and the fact that they were kind of like using his kind of like terminal and voice to kind of give information to the different parts of obviously the uh, it's crazy and ah uh, makes my heart sad because it's you know like even i went back and i watched like you know the domino squad and stuff like that and that just made me sad because all of them are dead apart from echo so ah uh, my heart oh okay Whew. Gotta breathe. So thank you guys so much for watching this reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this second episode of the se seventh season of Star Wars The Clone Wars. I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. I will say that, you know, they are not dragging it out, but they are a little bit slower than they were in the previous, like, seasons. But I'm still thoroughly enjoying it. It's really good. And I can't wait to see what else we have in store for this season because it's already started off with a bit of a shocker. And I can't wait to see what else... 
yeah, like we like what else is going to be unraveled, especially in terms of the fact that they said there's more connections going to be made between the TV show and the movie. So there's going to be more like about the movie in the TV show. I swear if they do. Oh, hello, my baby. Do you want to come and say bye? I swear if they do like a little like prelude into the Order 66 thing, I'm going to cry. And it, yeah, it won't be pretty when that happens. Mwah! Hello, my boo boo. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Crazy Fangirl out. <laughs>